Sending emails is an important part of any automations. Today, in this video, we are going to see how do I utilize send SMTP to send emails in UiPath latest activity versions. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mukesh Kala. I am a four times UiPath MVP and a LinkedIn top voice. I have shared my LinkedIn details on the page. Also, I have a small WhatsApp community which we, you can scan the QR and join the WhatsApp community as well. Okay. Today, in this video, we are going to see how I can use the send SMTP to send the email. If you are following this channel, you might have seen in the past that we have already covered all of these videos. Then why we are again covering it? The reason for that is UiPath has got activity update and now there are new set of activities. The look and feel is different and it is confusing for a lot of people right and i was getting a lot of comments on my old videos there were use cases where you have used this activity and people were not able to send the emails so hence this video where we are going to see how can you utilize send smtp to send emails right so with that let's get started Okay, so I am going to do this in step by step manner and I'm going to utilize Gmail, right? So I would request you guys to follow along this tutorial. So at the end, you guys also have the same automation setup. Okay. So first thing first, we will go to our uh, UiPath studio and here I'm going to go and create a new process, right? I'm going to call this process SMTP 2025 and I'm just going to write a description that send SMTP email and I hit create okay so we are going to create a new process and I'm going to utilize my personal Gmail account to send the email okay so the first thing is you would notice if I go to the project I do not have the email dependencies so that's why whenever I go to the activities I won't be having the email activities right so easy way to do it is you can just go to here and you can search for SMTP okay into the activities and you would see that inside the app integration email you have the send SMTP email which is available and you can just drag and down drag and drop the activity on the canvas and that will automatically add the dependency for you right so in case you are an experienced developer you already know that we need to have this dependency which is uipart.mail.activities okay so you can always go to the dependencies right click manage packages and you add uipart.mailactivities.package and that should give you the same set of activities okay so step one is to have the email dependencies loaded on your project okay Okay. So once I have added that dependency, this activity is available. And just to show you, if you go to the project, you would have the uipart.mail activities available, right? So you could have just added it by manage, right? So prerequisite. Okay. Now, so once that activity is ready, you would see here that it is asking you to add a new connection. And at this point, you need to understand that this connection is referring to UiPath integration services connection, right? So as a developer, now you have two options. Either you can use the UiPath integration services to directly integrate your uh, automation solution with gmail outlook any of those stuffs and use it or the other way is you can go by the traditional ways of using the smtp and all those details right so integration services i have already covered in this complete playlist where i have explained it in step by step manner that how you can do that so integration service i'm not going to cover in that in this video i would be going to the plain other smtp ways which we have been using traditionally right so for that the first setting which you have to do is click on that activity go to the properties and you would have something which is called use integration services to false and now you would see that the look and feel of the application has updated and this is where you see now the new updated details okay so now today i am going to use the gmail so i am going to show you how to utilize gmail okay 
so first of all it is asking me what is the server and what is the port right so for that i'm going to go to internet and uh, i just this is my gmail let me just do the search again uh, gmail smtp details for sending email that is what we have are interested in and you can see that i have got the smtp server and smtp port right so depending on which kind of email server you are using you need to have the smtp server and smtp port right so i'll just copy this smtp.gmail.com go back to here and provide this information in double quotes like this which becomes my server okay now the second thing is if you notice here it is giving you the port for uh, SSL and the TSL as well. I'm interested to use the SSL. So I'll just go here and I'll specify the port as 465, right? Now, after that, the SMTP activity is asking you. So if I just go here and I uh, collapse this thing, then you say there is something which is called connection details. I set it to false server port use OATH is set to false. Now we covered OATH maybe sometime in future. Now the next thing is whose account you are going to send the email, right? So I'm going to utilize uh, my Gmail account. So I'll provide my Gmail account and now comes the password part, right? So here, you are, uh, here Gmail does not allow you to use your actual Gmail password to send the emails. You need to use the app password to send the Gmail, right? So now, first of all, you need to generate the app password. To generate the app password, you come back to the search engine and search for app password Gmail SMTP and you will get to this website which is sign in with app passwords. I can click on that. That will open this one which is like sign in with app password and app password will give you a 16 digit passcode and to do that you just have to scroll down and these are the condition which you should fulfill. The first of all is you need to have the two-step verification enabled on your account if you do not have the two-step verification you won't be able to utilize the app password okay now once you have that to create the app password you just have to click on this link which says create and manage your app password that will log in you to the different account page here you need to sign up with the account which you want UI part to send the account I am using mail mukeshkal at the rate of gmail.com I say next okay and then it has this one which i have created last so i can just go and delete this i'm going to create fresh so it is asking me for which app you want to use right so i'm going to use it for demo purpose so i'm just going to put here demo and i'll just say create and you would see that it has created a app password for your device right so this app password you can just copy control c go back to the gmail which is this send smtp into the properties and into your password just provide that code which you have generated right uh, ideal way is you can just store both of this into the ui path uh, credential activity and then read those credential activity and pass it here all of that i'll leave it to your implementation right once you have done that all you have to do is just provide the relevant information that whom do you want to send the email right so for me i want to send the email to my same account only mail mukesh kala at the rate of gmail.com and in the subject i would say that demo email from video and in the body i'll just mention if this works the viewer will comment something just a small branding right so if this works you have to comment something like that yes it was successful you were able to follow along and something like that okay so with that we have successfully able to configure this activity here this is false this connection secure is set to auto just have a look into this setting right and yeah i'll just save this go here and i just say run the file okay so 
let me quickly check for the details and here i can see that i have missed a a here and i can also see that there is an extra space in the smtp.gmail.com which i have copy pasted right my bad again so i'll just go and i say run the file hopefully this should run now okay and uh, yeah execution completed right so make sure that in case you are facing that issues you are not doing the mistakes which i did i had put uh let me again show it to you right so i had put extra space on this and i had my email id incorrect make sure you don't have those spaces and everything make sure you provide the password like this and now into my gmail i have received the email from demo email from the video if this works the viewers the viewer will comment something right so in case you were able to successfully follow along with me and you were able to get this password please uh, get this email please do comment that you were able to successfully follow along with me right and since i have created this and you all have seen it you always have an option to go and delete the app passwords which you have created so that people cannot utilize it as i was using right so what happens if the app password is not there and you still try to run that let's go here and i say run the file i don't have any app password now and you would see that username and password is not accepted for this information uh, bad credentials right so that way you can actually control your credentials and you can control a lot of things right so yes with that i hope you guys were successfully able to send an email using the smtp generate the app password any more question any more doubts let me in the comments or you can also drop me an email as well right in the following video there is one more common question which is coming from the people that uh, how are we supposed to send multiple emails into gmail because the format has been changed so that's what i plan to do in the upcoming videos right so i'll wrap this video here thank you for watching if you like this video please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation